Hello, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm representing Unity Stamp Company and I have a coordinating stamp set and stencil combination that I'm sharing today and I'm going to use it with a slimline style card. And so for the stamping, I'm using Unity's Birthday Blooms stamp set along with Layered Peonies stencil. And this coordinates together to add coloring uh, with the stencil. And I pre-stamped and trimmed the happy birthday sentiment for this. And so for the stamping, I'm using the original Misty. I'm using my favorite things, black ink, extreme black ink. And then um, once that, I did three passes of the flowers for that, two or three. And now I'm lining up that first bottom layer there of the stencil right over that stamping and I'm going to use Distress Oxide Ink. Um, I'm using Worn Lipstick with a ink, an ink blending brush. I'm concentrating the color in the center of the flower and then I'm just blending the lighter, the lighter um, bit that's left over of color around the edges of that. And you peel it away and you have a very light peony. It's real pretty. You can stop there. I'm going to add a second layer, which is the next stencil um, shape set right next to it. And I'm going to use um, another pink that I had that's Ranger Archival Ink in Magenta Hue. And I'm using um, the ink blending brush that was cleaned. Um, to go ahead and use archival ink on that. Now when you use archival ink, it will stain your stencil a little. So you wanna make sure you clean after each, um, each of the inking to just prevent it from getting onto the stamping. I clean each, each um, section after I finish with it. Now they, they have really nice sections of leaves in this stencil. They coordinate in there with the stamping. You just have to find it and lay it right over where, where you're going to add green or in this case I'm using Distress Ink in Speckled Egg for this. And so I just go ahead and add some darker areas of that and blend in the light of the same shade. So for the center, I'm using Scattered Straw Distress Ink just to add a little golden hue in the middle. Now I'm layering the stencil again and I'm going to use a third layer of that stencil. I'm going to use Gina K Designs Bubblegum Glitz Glitter and that is in a gel form. I use a spatula to just apply a tiny bit over that third stencil layer and that's overlapping the stamping where it matches up. And then I scrape away any excess. This dries fairly quickly so I set this aside to dry, put the extra right back in this container and closed it up so it won't dry, won't dry up. Then I peel that away and make sure I do all of the inking first before I do that glitter gel. I just set it aside there and cleaned all of the stencil and the tools and left it to dry and it's, it looks so pretty when it's dry. It's shiny and it's just beautiful. I went ahead and fussy cut, which is just cut out the flower. I just used scissors to just cut around the flowers and the leaves. I added foam tape behind the flowers and the birthday sentiment. And I used flat double-sided clear tape for the slimline panels. I have a light pink layer and then a gray layer for the top. I cut my base at eight and a half inches by seven inches and I scored it at three and a half inches. So there to finish, I just layer all of the slimline background panels, the flower, the sentiment, and I'm adding a few adhesive pearls to finish it. And it's so pretty, it shines so much prettier in person. This is great to give his birthday, birthday card. I hope you like it and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. 
like, and share. Have a great day.